Bob is now better managing his costs and generating a lot of sales, but is concerned about the overall profitability of his business. Luckily for Bob, he has just learned CVP in his CMS lecture. CVP is the quantitative model to analyze revenues, costs, and profit. It enables managers to evaluate the consequences of major organizational decisions. Bob knows he has some major decisions to make about his cost structure and prices, so he heads to his office for some serious thinking time. For managerial decision making, revenues and costs of the business are best shown as a contribution margin statement. Unlike a traditional profit and loss statement that splits costs into product and period, the contribution margin statement separates costs into variable and fixed. Despite having increased sales, Bob is actually operating at a loss but has a positive contribution margin. The contribution margin is the difference between revenues and variable costs. The contribution margin is essentially the amount that goes to first covering fixed costs. Once fixed costs are covered, the CM goes to profit. As fixed costs cannot easily be changed, managers focus on CM rather than profit for short-term decision making. After finding out that the bakery is not yet making a profit, Bob wants to know what needs to be done to cover the costs of the business. This is the break-even point, where total revenue equals total costs, that is when profit equals zero. Therefore, total revenue equals selling price times quantity, and total costs equals variable costs times quantity plus fixed costs. The break-even point in units can also be calculated using the formula fixed costs divided by contribution margin per unit. Bob realizes that since he is selling multiple products, he needs to make an adjustment to the break-even formula. When a business sells more than one product, the selling price and the variable cost of each product needs to be calculated as a weighted average. This is done by using the percentage that each product makes up of total sales. After his multi-product analysis, Bob realizes he needs to increase sales in order to make a profit. However, he is currently operating at capacity as he is using the original oven that the previous business owner had been using for many years. Bob decides to purchase a more sophisticated oven with a larger capacity, but he is concerned about what risks this poses to the business. By purchasing the oven, he is changing the cost structure of the business from a lower to higher capital intensity. Fixed costs will increase because of higher depreciation, while variable costs will decrease as less labour time and electricity costs will be incurred because of a more efficient machine. To understand the risk to the business, Bob examines the margin of safety. The benefit, however, is higher operating leverage, which refers to the intensity of using fixed costs. While the break-even is higher and the margin of safety is lower, profits will increase at a faster rate. After examining the potential changes to cost structure and the margin of safety, Bob thinks he can handle the risk as the increase in revenue will allow the business to break even and start making a profit. <laughs>